This week, I'm going to do a fairly significant rearrange. Uh, we're finding that we're not really using much of the parsley, and the neighbour's got a lot of healthy parsley next door. So I think I'm going to take that out. And some of these coriander bushes, it's like, I don't know if they'll ever recover from that rot that they had in the middle. Uh, they grow up and you get, you get crunchy leaves at the top. And if you don't want them in your salad, you've got to saw through and take them out. Uh, I'm still tossing up what to do with them. But why do I need to get rid of some of this? Well, it's to make room for this little crop of chilies that I've had brewing in my small propagation system. They sit under a panel light, just an LED panel light from Bunnings. And they're getting to a stage where they're at the size where they're very crowded. Uh, this light's not really of sufficient intensity to raise chilies like this, I don't think. So in the absence of a more appropriate system to put them in, I think I'm gonna put some of them into the NFT. So the first thing to do is turn off the pump and then I prop these feet up onto a wooden block so it slopes the whole system back in the other direction a little bit and the water stops running down to this end. Then I pull off the offtake plumbing and that then frees the rails up so that I can pop out the hoses and then I can move the rails to wherever is more comfortable to work with them. Now, we'll have a look at this as I pull this plumbing off and this can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, that's better. I'll just swing that off to the side. And these, I think, are mostly bok choy roots. And see how they're actually hanging down into the plumbing. As I gently take this end piece off, you'll see the rest of the roots become exposed. And I've got water dripping there. Maybe I can put this under to catch all of that. Right, so let's see what we've got here. The bok choy and pak choy, that's got a root system on it. And if you look up there, you can see how it's all just sitting in the bottom of the channel where the water runs. Moving across, well, that's the parsley. The basil probably has the smallest root systems of all of these. And then there's the coriander. I think the, the coriander roots are the next best behind the bok choy. Now, if I pop out these hoses, they just pop into those holes like that, then I'll be able to move these rails out onto a bench outside. Right, so this is the parsley. I've already decided this is going to go because the neighbour's growing a heap of healthy parsley next door and we're going to help ourselves to that whenever we need to. So when I pop the lid off this channel, we'll be able to get a proper look at the roots inside. You can see how these roots are all matted together. And the further down we go, Look at those roots in there. Now, my neighbor suggested that I should just stick these in the ground over near the lemon tree. So that's not a bad idea. I'm not sure whether they'll survive, but it's not gonna hurt. So I'm just gonna separate them by cutting the roots there, threading them up through the, the holes. Can't hurt to stick that in the ground. Now, before I plant the chilies in here, I'm gonna give this channel a quick clean with a peroxide solution. I've actually decided I'm gonna do half of the basil as well. I'll take the bottom half out because 
it's important that we don't have any dead root mass in the system. So I'll just take out everything below this point. Hopefully all the root mass that's above that stays alive. I've decided the coriander is going to go as well because it's just never been that healthy in the middle and I want to free up more space for the chilies. So I've got those channels cleaned and ready to put new plants in. And this is what's going in. So I've got a range of chilies uh, and I've got some pak choy. Um, I'll put the pak choy in below the, the basil and the chilies. They can have a rail each to themselves. Um, I'm not sure how many I've got there. Uh, this is a little thing called wasabi rocket. It doesn't seem to grow very well, so I might just give that one a miss. All right, let's see if we can pull out one of these. Pak choy. Yep. Let's see if we can pull one of these chilies out without wrecking the roots. Or the leaves. Okay, that's the chilies in the rails. Now that's the chili and the fresh bok choy is in the system. Now I just need to reattach the offtake plumbing. I might do a reservoir change as well, but hopefully that gives the chilies the space they need to progress to the next stage. Um, ultimately, I'll put them under different lights and that's why I wanted to keep them in channels that were just chilies, so the whole channel can be moved to another light. Ultimately, I don't think an NFT system is the best thing for chilies. So I'll be thinking about something more appropriate for my next setup. I've still got those chilies there in my propagation system. I don't know, I might just leave them there and see how they go for a little while. Tomorrow I'm gonna to plant some fresh seedlings, I think some coriander to replace the coriander that I got rid of. And I'm just gonna get a seed planting regime going so that I can have a constant supply of herbs all at various stages. Okay, and this is the end result. So I've put everything back together. I've done a full res change. I've put fresh nutrient in. I've got the pH sitting at about 5.9 and an EC of 2.4. You can see I've put the chilies in every second hole and I've covered up the holes that have nothing in them and that's just to prevent light from getting in so we don't get any kind of algae growing in the channels. I obviously cut out half of the basil and I decided to fill those slots with bok choy seedlings um, and I've still got a few things left in the propagator. Uh, a couple of chilies that wasabi rocket and I've just planted a new batch of seeds so we'll see how they come up next week. Anyway that was my garage hydroponics update. Stay tuned to see what happens next. Hydroponics. <laughs>